Cancer's always been part of my life. I lost my father, I lost my sister, I lost my wife. I am a pulmonary hypertension patient. I was diagnosed 33 years ago. When I discovered the diagnosis of my son, and uh, then I decided to create Casa Hunter to change the scenario of rare diseases in our country. Patient advocacy groups have an expertise. They have a direct line to what really matters to patients. I'm a parent of a child with a, with a rare disease. Uh, and so every day I'm striving, thinking about um, how I can bring the voice of, of that patient into the work that we do. These are individuals that often will take the worst of situations and turn it into something that is incredibly beautiful. Well, they will help others have an easier uh, trek than they did. I was diagnosed with breast cancer 24 years ago, and at that time I realized that there was so much uh, that I couldn't get in terms of information and support from other people. My family was told that I had seven days to live. Anything that I can do, my team can do, my organization can do to pull back so that people have more time, that they never come to that precipice in the first place. In patient centricity, what it means for us, for Pfizer, is the um, collaboration with patients in, in every stage of the life cycle of our treatments. The way that I approach collaboration with patient advocacy groups is really making sure that it's, it comes from a place of listening, first and foremost, and building trust. Not only do we believe, but we know that patient advocacy groups are that glue, that bridge between patients, healthcare professionals, and the entire health ecosystem. Because if it doesn't work for one person, it doesn't work for any of us. So we're all in it together.